Hello, I'm MC Toon. A couple days ago, I did a video on Terry R. Eicher, who likes to call himself flat out truth. But after this video, you may choose a different word than truth. Let's see what he says. I uh, just wanted to make a really quick video on the flat earth map, the sun and the seasons, uh, because I had a few questions. So I'd want to make this really, really quick. Yeah, here we go. Now, as you can see, this is the Gleason's new standard map of the world. And I'm going to freeze it right here for just a second. As you can see, it says scientifically and practically correct as it is. Nowhere on this map does it say that this is a projection map. And see, I get this from a lot of Globers, a lot of Globers like, oh, it's a projection map. It's a projection map because Google says so. Yeah, Google says so because they don't want you to know this, but nowhere on this map will you see that it says that it's a projection map. Now, I don't know if Terry R. Eicher is intentionally lying to the people that might watch his video, or if he's just illiterate. But right there, it says it's a projection, right on screen, while he is saying it's not a projection. Nowhere on this map will you see that it says that it's a projection map. Now, Terry, I know it might be difficult because where you paused it, it's a little blurry. So let me help you out. I'll put a full res version of that map right here on screen. Now, it does say projection right there, but it still may be a problem for you because it's slightly rotated. Let me fix that for you by unrotating the word projection. So there it is, Terry. It's a projection. It says it right on the screen while you're saying it's not a projection. And here you can see Gleason's original patent, nowhere does it say projection map bunch of bullcrap and then he reads the actual patent well i shouldn't say read he clearly did not read it because it doesn't support what he was saying he's lying again maybe he didn't get to the words part of the actual patent but you can see right here near the very end it says that it is an extortion of the globe it means not, not extortion in the current tense um it means it's a distorted version of the globe. Oops. Right there in the patent application were, uh, again, probably Terry, I'm guessing, can't read. That's got to be it. Could just be that he's illiterate. But he goes on to get more things wrong. Here's what a projection map looks like. Here you go. Now look at that real good, long and hard. That is what a projection map looks like. Well, that's not the only projection map that exists. Apparently to Terry, that's the only one. There's literally hundreds of different ways that you may project a globe onto a flat surface. I got a few of them going right here. He seems quite unaware of these things, but there's more. And then we go to the uh, December solstice, the winter solstice, December 21st. Now notice how the sun is out wide from the North Pole. It's making a wide spiral circle from this close spiral circle, as you see here. Now let's look down underneath the diagram of the map and see what it tells us for December solstice. Okay, on December the 21st, the sun moves around the Tropic of Capricorn. And once again, as you can see for the globe tards, the sun moves around the Tropic of Capricorn. It doesn't say the earth revolves around the sun. It says the sun moves around the Tropic of Capricorn. It doesn't actually matter what he says about the projection map. It's still a projection. The source was the globe, as he noted both on the front of the map and in the patent application. But but Terry, Terry's going to make some claims here that are definitely not true. And during the daylight of the southern portion of the Earth from the Arctic Circle to some portion of Antarctica ice, there is no sunlight beyond 80 degrees south, but unknown regions of ice. In the late 1800s, certainly Antarctica had not yet been explored. 
So how could Gleason make any claims about whether or not there was sunlight 80 degrees south or more? He couldn't make the claim. He'd never been there. Nobody had really uh, reported back from Antarctica at the time. But people have been there. People live at the actual South Pole at 90 degrees south year-round. Here's a video of a five-day time lapse of the sun going around the, the South Pole. Definitely not working for flat Earth. Now, sometimes flat earthers will claim it's fake. They will never actually produce any evidence that it's fake. Seems that when, when a map says it's accurate, they'll accept that the map is accurate. But when you give them actual video taken by a real human that's still alive and you go talk to them, they'll reject it with no evidence. That's their standard operating procedure. They accept things that they want to accept with no evidence and reject things that they don't want, even though there is evidence. So Terry, Terry, um, why, why not just, just note that right on the map, it says projection. Are you not able to read? That's a question for you, Terry. Could maybe just respond, just send me a message back, whether or not you're able to read the word projection right on the map that you said did not have a project, was not a projection while you were saying, it. and uh, Terry, you should maybe have somebody check your videos. <laughs> please, please, you should. I mean, your quality is terrible. You're really, really uh, letting some stuff slide there. Bunch of bull crap. <laughs> yes, it is total bull crap. So Terry, uh, Terry likes to, um, he likes to be a pseudoscientist. One of the traits of a pseudoscientist is that they're hostile to criticism. When I did my last video, he turned off comments. He couldn't stand the criticism. Then he did a video talking about people commenting on his videos, inviting them to comment. And then later he did a video bragging that he had banned those people on his channel. He is very much hostile to criticism. He hates it. That is a trait of a pseudoscientist. They don't want to be challenged. They need to cultivate their perfect echo chamber. So go ahead, pop over to Terry's video, let him know what you think about it, and you can get banned too. Be sure to subscribe, click the notification bell, because uh, I'm not done with Terry yet.